Hey, this is Blind Fox. Welcome to my national review. Please support the channel, please subscribe, please go donate on patreon.com. We got this from MRE Nation. You can see this is a MRE Genuine US MRE. Menu number 9, Beef Stew. It's got the, the Department of Defense seal at the top. This is a Warnock one, you can see that 9 on the, on the side, the menu number. You can see it's got MRE written across the bag, meal ready to eat individual underneath that. And underneath that Warfighter recommended, Warfighter tester, tested and Warfighter approved. And there's the Warner Company's address and the rest of the other stuff that's always written on here. This is 2017 ration although there is no date on this bag. I know from the box it came. So let's open this. It's a nice brown bag, quite nice and thick plastic. And it opened quite nicely. The only thing is that this stuff does sort of destroy the bag and you can see all of this stuff is not in a little small bag. So let's see what's inside. We've got lemon lime, carbohydrate, electrolyte, beverage powder, pretzels, marble pound cake, peanut butter, apple jelly, beverage bag, a ration heater, this is just a normal ration heater, multi-grain snack bread, ration spoon, we've got the beef stew with a date of 7305. So it is uh, the 305th day of 2017. And we've got the accessory bag, AHS. So this is another hot sauce bag. It was back the 293rd day of 2017. So this is everything that is in menu number 9, beef stew. From the Warner Company. Let's see what's in the accessory bag. Toilet paper. Moist toilet. Hot sauce. Iodized salt. Sugar non-dairy coffee creamer coffee cinnamon gum and the red tip matches so let's see what we're going to do we are going to heat this up this is um, 8 ounces or 227 grams there is a lot of stuff. I will put it on my Facebook page and on my Twitter page. So we're going to heat this up. We're not going to use any of these. And we already tasted the cinnamon gum. It's a nice light cinnamony taste. A bit, but a bit of a burn. Quite nice ways to end the meal. This takes 12 ounces of water. So I'm going to mix this. We're not going to use the hot beverage bag. So you can check out the marble cake, it's 7115, 7175, sorry. It's the 175th day of 2017. You can see the nice chocolatey white, oh, whole grain snack bread. Or multi, sorry, multi-grain snack bread. It was back the 301st day of 2017. And again it is a bread form. We've got some pretzels. Can't see a date on them. And we have the pretzels. So let's start with some pretzels. It is sort of little straight pretzel sticks. It's nice, it's salty, it tastes pretzelly. But it is a bit dry. Now this bread has got a little, it sort of can break. So we'll just break it into a few pieces. Let's taste it. If you concentrate, you can taste the, the grains. It's a, slightly sweet, a bit dry. Let's taste some. And this is lemon lime. Nice sour, nice citric acid, acid taste. It does taste like um, 
artificial lemon lime but it's quite nice let's see the peanut butter like all peanut butters it's a bit dry let's try it on them it's a bit dry on the bread something you do get is that nice multigrain taste but the peanut butter goes well with the bread this is the apple jelly I don't taste a lot it's not as apple as um, as apple sauce would have liked a bit more apple but it is hmm. it is an interesting color it's slightly sweet it's sort of I don't know how to explain this but it's interesting the multi grains is, goes nice and with this you get the slight sweetness of the jelly it's not very sweet I don't really the taste you don't really taste apple -y. but it goes well with the bread it's not as dry now let's check out the apple jelly with the peanut butter it takes away the dryness you get that slight little thing about jam or jelly with peanut butter but it's not extraordinarily sweet the peanut butter does overwhelm the apple jelly but I actually like the apple jelly so let's go and get the food so this stew smells savory, tomatoey you can see there the blocks, there's veggies, there's meat the sauce is nice and thick you do get a slight tomatoey taste um, the meat is prefab but it's actually fine because although you lose the structure of the meat it's not as dry as a lot of the real meat stews are because it, in this stuff real meat is very very dry so you lose that dryness from the meat which is nice the potatoes are nice you do get a nice meat taste you taste the potatoes the vegetables it's quite it's, it's a nice it's nice and light savory stew a bit of salt this thing works nicely this is a nice light stew it's not overwhelmingly fatty or anything it's just a nice light meat stew not very interesting but it's quite it, it's fine the coffee this coffee is not as um, strong as the type 3 coffee it's much much milder coffee so this is the pound cake the marble pound cake you can see the different colors there let's break a piece off and there you can see the marbling it's nice it's light a bit fatty but it's go well and a bit dry but the coffee goes well with this so I like this meal I've not noticed a problem with anything here I like the bread the peanut butter the, the, the apple jelly was nice the pretzels was nice a bit dry but it was nice normal pretzels the lemon lime is just normal lemon lime a bit artificial flavor the stew is a slightly bit bland like all of these meals or, or this one bit bland meal but it's it's fine and the coffee just not a slight light coffee so this was menu number nine beef stew from the Warnock company and I got this from MRE Nation so go and check their stuff out so thanks for watching please support the channel please subscribe please go and donate on patreon.com and see you at my next ration review